Welcome to Credit Matters, the weekly show highlighting Standard & Poor's analysis and global perspective on the latest credit market developments. My name is Ted Burbage. Joining me today is Erkan Turk. Erkan's a member of our Structured Finance Research Team, and he's here to discuss the U.S. auto lease market. Erkan, welcome. Uh, so 2011 and our expectation into 2012 looks pretty good for auto-related securitization, but let's talk about a, a subsector of that, the auto lease market. What are we expecting uh, in 2012? We are expecting a strong year for auto lease ABS market issues exceeding 10 billion level. As auto sales improve, uh, lease volumes increase, and, and used car prices remain robust. Right, and that's similar to last year's volume? Up last slightly? last okay. year it was a little under 10 billion. Okay. It ended up with uh, 9.7 billion total issues that came from roughly from 12 transactions. And in fact that 9.7 billion issues last year was in fact the third highest level we have seen ever. The third high highest, okay. Yes, the highest number we have seen was in 2006, that was about 14 billion, and followed by 13 billion a year after in 2007. So, if you do exceed 10 billion level in 2012, that will make it still a third highest uh, level. Okay, so we're we're not quite, but we're getting to pre-crisis levels, and I guess you're saying the driver is largely, you know, through the higher auto sales that we're seeing come through. Certainly, that okay. helps. Talk about some of the issuers. You know, who, who's been active in this marketplace? The, in the auto lease market, you tend to see prime borrowers, obviously, and the, in terms of issuers, uh, expensive cars and the luxury cars dominate. Okay. If you look at in terms of um, manufacturers, German car makers make up about 37% of the last year's uh, issues amount, uh, followed by our domestic car makers in the States, uh, that's about 25%. And among Japanese car makers, the most noticeable one is perhaps Nissan, that makes up about 18% of the issues last year. Right, Nissan's been a, 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 frequent, a frequent issuer. You, you mentioned the prime borrower nature of the obligor within the ABS pools. Um, of course, that's only you know, half, the, half the story, really. Uh, the other half being you know, the residual value risk and you know, therefore the used, used car exposure that these transactions have. So talk a little bit about just the used car market generally and maybe some of our expectations for that going forward. Certainly, the used car prices have been robust. Over the past two years, since mid-2009, used car prices have done really well that benefited not only auto lease market, it also benefited auto loan market to an extent. Right. And as used car prices improve, we also see residuals are coming in better than expectation. Uh, strictly focusing on perhaps um, uh, Mannheim index, um, it has dramatically improved over the past few years and we have seen some drop in 2011 between June and October period. The decline was about 4% but since October the prices recovered and it, it improved about 2%. So generally used car prices have done well and we, we think uh, it's likely to continue. Okay, and just for the benefit of our viewers, the Mannheim Index is an index of used car prices coming from their auction uh, networks. It's, 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 it's the used car prices, yeah. certainly. Okay. The, and it's adjusted by the mixture of the cars and the age of the car, so it is controlled for certain factors okay. to make it a real index. Okay. Um, so that's more kind of the, the current state. Talk a little bit about what our expectations are for the future from a used car price standpoint? Um, going forward, we don't really expect used car prices to improve any, anymore, uh, but we don't expect them to decline either. Okay. They are likely to remain stable, robust, right. more stable. Um, as, long as, as long as the economy is not facing any, any uh, recession or the gas prices do not see any um, uh, any jump in, in, in prices, certainly if you see any spike in gas prices, that could hurt part of the uh, uh, segments. For example, SUV type cars are likely to um, to be hurt from Right, they the could suffer from any spike in gas prices. But so generally we're expecting stable used car, barring any significant shock that would affect 
neg negatively affect uh, gas prices. Yes. Um, all right, so just sum up 2012, if you would, just as we wrap up here. Overall issues in auto lease ABS will be strong. That's our expectation. Used car uh, market has been strong. We think that will remain uh, robust okay. and stable. As a result, collateral performance, mainly residual uh, expectation, is likely to be stable. And our ratings, as a result, um, are likely to be stable in 2012. Okay, so that, that bodes well for the sector. Great. Ericon, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time.